This question is not testing our knowledge of physics or astronomy, but rather working with a formula, staying organized with units, and carefully plugging in numbers. We have n, and we can plug that into the equation. We also have l, but it has been given to us in the wrong units. Using dimensional analysis, or multiplying fractions to cancel units, we can get l into the right units. Notice that the relationship of centimeters to feet has been given to us by the question. Similarly, we are given the radius of the mouth, from which we'll be able to get the area of the mouth, which we need for the formula, but we need to convert this one as well. Once again, we convert from feet to centimeters. We have 4 times 30.48, which we could multiply, but we might not have to multiply these numbers ultimately, so let's not do it too hastily. We now have r, and we can plug that into the formula for area to get the area of the mouth of the tube. Now we have L, A, and N all in the proper units, and it's time to plug them into the general formula carefully. When we do so, we get the following expression. Indeed, we can see that a lot is going to cancel here. We can start with the fours and the pies in the numerator and the denominator. In the denominator, by pulling out that four squared, we can see that we have a pi in the numerator and the denominator that cancel, and one four each in the numerator and denominator that cancel. Also, in the numerator, we have 304.8. In the denominator, we have 30.48. To get those to cancel, we can pull a power of 10 out in the numerator. That way, the 30.48s squared cancel in both the numerator and the denominator. The factor of 4 can be canceled between the 4 and the 240, and we're left with 100 times 60, or 6,000. The correct answer is C.